Hey guys, uh, it's me again, and welcome to your first set of notes for this semester. Uh, tomorrow, we will be working with these things called algebra blocks. Um, they're very, very helpful when you're trying to solve equations and stuff, um, or they can be very helpful if you use them. Okay, so <coughs> to give you a brief overview, let's take a look. Okay, you're going to have three main blocks. Okay, you're going to have little cubes like this. They're going to be green, okay? You are going to have yellow bars, okay? Let me finish coloring this in. And you will have orange bars, okay? Now, when we start working with these, okay? They are all special, all right? We will show that in a second, okay? The first one that we will be working with is, hold on, there we go, the greens, okay? These are all one. So if I had three of them together, pretend those are squares, the value this would be three. Easy enough? I think so. Whoops. Okay, the next one we are going to look at is this little yellow guy here. Okay, this yellow guy, these are X's. So same idea. Okay, I'm just going to draw crappily. But, got three of these here. This would be 3X. Okay, you should know most of this by now, because you've seen stuff like this similar. Now, this one, for those of you who've already guessed, is y. So if I had two of those, that would be 2y. Now the reason that we have them is because it allows us to visually display uh, expressions, okay? For those of us who don't like you know, letters and numbers and variables. So if I wanted to say 3x plus 2, okay, I would take three of these guys, the yellow ones, whoops, what just happened? Ah, oh well, whatever, deal with it. Okay, then I would take two green squares. That is 3x plus 2. Okay, now if I wanted to get a little more complicated and say like x plus y plus 4, there's my x, there's my y, and here's my 4. Now I know what some of you were thinking. Okay, well, Mr. Andrade, what happens if I want to use a minus, like I want to say 3x minus 2. Well, we have a special mat. That mat is divided. One side is gray. This is, pretend this is gray. Okay, and this is for negatives, and this is for positives. So if I wanted to put 3x minus 2, I would say, okay, here's my 3x's, and these two are negative because they're on the negative side. Now, if that confuses you, don't worry. I'm going to show you a better one now. Some of the more advanced students might be saying, well, Mr. Andrade, how do we do equations? Like... 3x plus y equals 5. Well, I'm going to show you right now, so it's a good thing you asked. Here we are. This is an algebra blocks sentence mat. Okay, basically, it's an equations thing. Whoa, what just happened? Okay, now, you'll see there's your equal sign. Anything that we get is positive goes on the top. Anything that is negative goes on the bottom. So here we go. 
So let's say that I want to write out 3x plus 2y equals, mm, we'll say 5. So I take my x's and I'm going to put 3 there. Okay, and then I'm going to say plus 2y because it's on the same side. Actually, let's make this a little longer. Equals 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There we go. Okay, now I could solve it, but I'm not going to. Okay? Basically, you have to be able to show these. Now, what I want you to do, okay, I'm going to give you a little challenge really quick. I want to see if you can do this. By the way, this is going to be on the quiz tomorrow. Okay, I want you with the equation x plus y equals 6 and x minus y equals 4. I want you to take these, turn them into algebra blocks, and write them down on here. So you're going to have to just kind of draw them on your own. But I want you to be able to show me what that looks like if you were to have a blank sheet of paper like this. Okay. Give you a hint. Redraw this little guy. Okay. If you want to draw the little balance part, you can. You don't have to. But draw it and then recreate what I just told you. Okay. Let me go all the way back. With your blocks, I want you to recreate x plus y equals 6, x minus y equals 4. Don't forget, okay, that, don't forget, we have pluses on the top and minuses on the bottom. That's it for the notes. I uh, hope you're ready. See you tomorrow.